with that, Dr. Pianta, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Anna, for uh, getting us started this morning. I'm very excited to be part of a day one presentation uh, for ICPSR's Data Fair, and welcome to all of you uh, attending live and future attendees watching recordings. Um, so today, I am very pleased to talk to you about one of the newest uh, partners that ICPSR has um, in prevent providing data um, to broad audiences, and that is the Millennium Challenge Corporation. The title of uh, the talk that I'm going to give this morning is Encouraging Learning Through Measured Results, the Millennium Challenge Corporation Evidence Platform. Next slide, please. So I wanna start first by talking a little bit about this federal agency that ICPSR is partnering with to provide a new data platform. It's the Millennium Challenge Corporation. And as I just said, it is a new partner for ICPSR. Uh, for those of you who are new to the Millennium Challenge Corporation, uh, it is a United States Foreign Assistance Agency. Uh, that really is at the forefront of leading the fight against global poverty. So the Millennium Challenge Corporation provides grants and creates projects to developing countries in order to support uh, sustainable economic and social growth in those countries and improve the infrastructure, all with the goal of um, improving people's lives in those countries. Uh, MCC, or Millennium Challenge Corporation, forms partnerships with uh, lots of developing countries, and I'll talk a little bit more about some of those countries in the remainder of the presentation. Um, it's working generally with countries that are committed to good governance of its people, economic freedoms, and investing in citizens. Those are the kinds of places that MCC is working in. Next slide, please. One of the um, goals of the Millennium Challenge Corporation has always been a commitment to transparency for the investments it makes and the work that it's doing. Uh, MCC values the transparency in its work. And as an extension of that, they've partnered with ICPSR uh, to create an evidence platform. The evidence platform is a place for the research and evaluation results uh, related to the programs that it invests in to be made available to the broad public, as well as stakeholders that MCC serves. Um, through its reduction of uh, programs to reduce poverty and grow, uh, grow the economy in um, various countries, the goal of MCC is to remain transparent in that, to remain transparent in that work, sorry. Um, so one of the things that I'm excited to share in addition to uh, the actual platform today um, is the kind of organization that MCC is. It is ranked as one of the world's most transparent global aid organizations. Uh, so that's worldwide and it's the number one US aid organization. Um, so in our country in the US, next slide. The kinds of programs that uh, the Millennium Challenge Corporation is investing in is uh, varied. And uh, the new platform with data and program information, the evidence platform that ICPSR is hosting has content related to all of these program sectors. Uh, MCC provides foreign assistance in things like education, agriculture, energy, and health. Uh, but also land, banking and financial services, transportation, water, sanitation, and hygiene, capacity building, and institutional development. I want to give you a few examples of um, some of these program sectors that MCC is working in from the evidence platform. So, for example, in the area of uh, education, of the education sector, MCC invests in the country of Georgia to provide educational infrastructure in that country, and it's done so since 2014. Um, the goal of that 
investment program is to improve the quality of STEM education in the country of Georgia. Uh, that includes both rehabilitating some of the existing educational infrastructure in that country, uh, but also uh, building new labs for students to learn in schools and investing in the training uh, of uh, staff in schools. So that's a, a broad overview of, of one program in the country of Georgia for education. I'm gonna give you a couple of more though. Um, so looking at uh, the sector of agriculture, agricultural programs that MCC is involved in uh, may be agriculture and uh, growing of crops, but also um, irrigation systems and other kinds of agriculture. Um, it includes also fishing uh, agriculture, for example, in the country of Morocco. Uh, there is a large-scale program to improve small-scale fisheries with the idea that improving uh, the quality of fishing can also lift uh, the fishing industry, uh, fisher people and staff out of um, poverty. And uh, there in Morocco, MCC invests in uh, the maintenance and improvement of ports, of marine protected areas, of wholesale markets, wholesale fish markets, um, and of course, training there as well of those involved in the fishing industry, both those who are fishing and those who are staffing the various kinds of places that I just said. Um, an example of transportation investments in the country of Mozambique is investing in road rehabilitation uh, and construction of new roads, sometimes opening up improved access to markets. Um, an example of uh, water sanitation is in the country, a program of investment in the country of Zambia, where MCC is making investments to improve uh, access to water, sanitation, uh, and drainage infrastructure. So a really wide range of investments across these important areas, um, and all with evaluation data that keep track of the spending uh, and the impact of the spending and how to improve those kinds of investments going forward. And that's where the platform comes in to host all of that content. Next slide, please. So I'm gonna turn to talking about um, a little bit more about the platform that ICPSR uh, has built for the Millennium Challenge Corporation. We call it the Evidence Platform. Um, it is more than a simple uh, data archive. Uh, it is a knowledge base where uh, users can interact not just with data sets related to these kinds of programs that I just mentioned, but also, but also all sorts of knowledge products such as reports and uh, whatnot um, so that people get a full picture of the investments and the impact that MCC is having in these various countries. Um, so this knowledge platform is an exciting new way for users to interact, not just with data, but other resources from uh, the programs where MCC is investing. Next slide, please. So MCC is engaging in ongoing evaluations of all these grant funded projects that I've been describing. Uh, the evidence platform at ICPSR hosts information about the design and the analysis of those studies, as well as the program outcomes, so more than the data. So examples of products that users can interact with on the website and also includes things like questionnaires, design reports that spell out the methodology of the work that's ongoing in the various countries where MCC is making investments, analysis reports looking at the outcomes of uh, those investments and learning reports. Um, in addition, uh, the Millennium Challenge Corporation is sharing qualitative data, quantitative data, and geographic data through the evidence platform related to those programs. So not only can you access the reports, but also the underlying data um, of these evaluations. Next slide, please.
One of the um, divisions uh, that we are um, hosting uh, data and resources from is monitoring and evaluation. So m &E at the Millennium Challenge Corporation. MCC uh, is very much committed to monitoring uh, how it is collecting data, how it's performing on specific indicators to measure progress towards the programs that it is implementing in various countries and uh, the extent to which it's achieving um, both endpoint results, but also intermediate results along the way. The other aspect of um, program analysis uh, where we are, where we have data in the evidence platform is the evaluation part, which is the objective and systematic assessment of things like the program's design, how it's being implemented, and what the results have been. Next slide, please. The types of questions that users uh, can answer uh, by coming to the evidence platform at ICPSR are questions around transparency. So a user might ask, was MCC's investment implemented according to plan? It's also possible to look at uh, accountability issues. So did the investment produce the intended results? Did it achieve its stated objective in pursuit of MCC's mission to reduce poverty through economic growth? And finally, looking at questions of learning. Why did or didn't the investment achieve, achieve certain results? Next slide, please. The platform itself, um, in its ability to answer these questions, you can see meets a lot of different audiences that are interested in interacting with the information from MCC's programs of investment and uh, these data sets. One of the um, intended audiences for the evidence platform is US Congress, uh, both uh, congressional members and their staffers who look to um, investigate the investments that MCC is making, the US general public as any federal agency is interested in um, its accountability to the public dollars that fund its existence, to MCC's country partners who wish to, who perhaps wish to interact with the program information, the reports, the data, um, to extend the work that MCC is doing or to understand it better. And academic researchers, faculty and students. And so a lot of these um, evaluation studies and uh, data sets that are available from the platform can also be used to access, to understand very basic uh, questions about development that researchers might have. Next slide, please. So the exciting part, um, this is the top half of um, the evidence platform at ICPSR. I encourage you to go and take a look at this is the home page. Um, you can see that it has uh, ready and clickable access to country information, study information, reports, data packages. Um, and so this is a great and uh, easy way to begin to interact with and understand the different uh, knowledge products and data packages that you can interact with through the evidence platform. Next slide, please. So um, one of the main functions that a user will want to engage in when coming to the platform is searching. You can search within sector, by study, by evaluation type, you can filter and narrow your search results really easily. You can also apply different filters at the same time. And that's one of the really um, novel features of the way that the evidence platform has been built at ICPSR. Next slide, please. So here you can see the basic search box produces content in a lot of areas. So there's, um, for example, currently on the evidence platform, 192 studies. 
Um, there are 398 analysis reports, 89 learning reports, 141 data packages, uh, 205 questionnaires, other reports, and external publications. So all of those things together are um, structured and related to one another so that you can see um, not just the data package, but the study or program that it's related to. And that's a really exciting uh, piece that I think I'll show, I think, in the next slide. If you could advance it, please. So um, the um, very advanced uh, metadata allows for very advanced uh, filtering of the different aspects of uh, MCC's programs and investments and in different countries. So there's um, high level programs. You can search and filter by country. You can search and filter by cross-sector theme. And that's where the sectors that I talked about, there are cert certain areas that cross cut, uh, cut across multiple sectors and those are listed here. So for example, you can see agricultural productivity is the top one. Um, within each program, there are sometimes multiple studies. The countries are organized by region, and so you can also apply that kind of filter. And then um, there is both the ability to select the kind of intervention and the kind of uh, sector that you might be interested in exploring or seeing the resources within. Next slide, please. The relationship of how uh, we're able to present data in the evidence platform um, is, is really nice. Um, some of the features of what you'll see when you're interacting with data sets or program information um, is things like program at a glance, the related knowledge products, what's available quickly to download, including the ability to select the kinds of things you want to download. You can select all of it, or you can select only certain kinds of product types for download. Um, there is also really nicely the ability to see the different versions that are available. And so as content changes over time or updates are made to programs or data packages, for example, you can refer back to an earlier version. Um, and then finally, there are pages for individual knowledge products that are linked to the programs and study pages. So all of this um, shows the complexity of the organization of the information, but in a way that's um, easy for the user to understand the context around what they're looking at. Next slide, please. So one of the um, biggest interests for ICPSR's users is of course to access and download data. So I wanted to mention um, how that goes from the MCC evidence platform. Um, in order to download data, um, users need to create and sign into a My Data account, so very much like a traditional ICPSR experience. Um, and in doing that, uh, you see that there are knowledge product pages that include metadata for both the parent study and the individual uh, knowledge product. Um, and let's see, I think next slide, please. Um, so in general, I just wanted to uh, reinforce uh, and welcome you to come and explore the evidence platform. Um, ICPSR's uh, traditional data platforms are organized around studies and the studies have data files associated with them um, in a pretty straightforward way. The evidence platform for the Millennium Challenge Corporation provides much more relational and hierarchical information around the data packages to explore. Um, it's both exciting and um, a new way of thinking about uh, information uh, around data sets that are collected. Um, so I encourage you to spend some time taking a look at uh, the website. Um, and uh, if you have questions, I think there's um, going to be some time for questions now after this presentation, but for questions that might come up over time, um, I will direct you to uh, 
uh, this email address, which is uh, ambyrb, Amber B, at umich.edu. Um, Amber Amon Ra is uh, the current data project manager for the MCC evidence platform. Um, and she will be happy to answer longer range questions that come up. So please jot that down if you think that there are uh, questions to be had or follow one of the help links available from the website. Um, so with that, that is the conclusion of my presentation. If there are any questions, I will try to answer them. Hi, Dr. Panta. We did have a question come in that didn't come through that Q&A. Um, that question is, uh, love the MCC. When did this come out? Great question. Um, so the project is about a year and a half in the making uh, at ICPSR. And the actual platform was released to the public just a couple of months ago. So this is kind of hot off the presses and brand new. Great, thank you. Uh, I see a question just popped in. Will there be some help provided for grant writers by MCC? Um, I'm not sure of the answer to that question. Um, I, uh, MCC uh, uh, generally um, it makes contracts with various data providers to evaluate its programs. Um, so, uh, that's the part of MCC that I'm most familiar with, um, but I encourage you to go to the mcc.gov website uh, for questions about grants that it makes to uh, researchers more generally, because I believe it does that as well. One thing I didn't mention, Anna, during the presentation uh, is that uh, there are two kinds of data packages that we're making available from the evidence platform. So there are public use data sets and those are uh, fully de-identified and uh, downloadable for anyone to access and use with the MyData account. Um, but we also have um, restricted use data that will be added to the platform. There isn't any currently, but um, there will be. Um, so MCC also uh, is endeavoring to make available restricted use data sets, um, not with direct identifiers, but where um, there is more sensitive and identifiable information in indirect identifiers, so like places and um, uh, organizational um, areas that it's investing in and things like that. Um, and those will be available as restricted use data sets and users can apply for access to restricted data sets and then gain access to those data sets through a virtual data enclave environment uh, managed by ICPSR. So that is uh, users get a data use with the authorized users who sign a data use agreement with ICPSR um, are then given instructions to not download microdata, but to um, be able to analyze using statistical packages, uh, microdata um, that remains at ICPSR. And then um, for any output that uh, somebody might want to take and use, they uh, request ICPSR to review that output to be sure that um, there's no disclosure risk in the output. And then uh, ICPSR sends uh, authorized files to the user to use. So it's kind of a very um, uh, well-managed and secure process to access restricted data sets related to uh, the Money and Challenge Corporation's um, evaluation efforts. Very cool. Um, another question, how far back do the MCC data go? Uh, there are definitely um, probably more than 10 years of um, program information. I, I don't know the answer to that off the top of my head, but I, um, I trust that a savvy user will be out there uh, checking that question out um, since we do have that available on the website. And I shouldn't Google during a presentation, right? <laughs> That's right. Live Googling never goes well. Um, fantastic. 
And just one more time, could you let folks know what that website is for MCC? Yeah. Or how to get to it from the ICPSR website? Yeah. I'm just. Um... So the web address is much like many ICPSR <laughs> platforms, mcc.icpsr.umich.edu. Fantastic. Someone's asking, is the data enclave that you mentioned, is that via IRIS at iris.isr.umich.edu? No, ICPSR has a virtual data enclave service that serves many of the different archives of ICPSR. Um, and so that is an environment that ICPSR itself manages. Yeah. IRIS has um, a somewhat similarly secure environment to access IRIS data, um, but it is the same. That's a great question. I am doing some quick Googling uh, if anyone is uh, new to IRIS, I'm trying to find their exact uh, acronym. Oh, it's the Institute for Research on Innovation and Science. So if you have questions about that, um, let us know. Um, but IRIS is a, um, a great fellow organization. But yes, like Dr. Pianta said, this is ICPSR's own virtual archive. All right, seeing no additional questions, I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who's attended here today. It has been an absolute delight to have you. Thank you, Dr. Pienta, for this great presentation. The evidence platform is one of my favorite things that's happening at ICPSR right now. If you are um, sticking around for the next presentation, that next presentation will be statistics and data analysis methods with the ICPSR summer program. And that is happening um, here in just a few minutes. We'll give you about 30 minutes to catch up on all of those things that, that came into your inbox over the last uh, presentation. And then we'll see you back here at uh, 12 p.m. Eastern time for that summer program presentation. Thank you so much, Dr. Pienta. Thank you everyone for joining us and we'll see you at the next State Affairs session. Thank you everyone. Thanks, Anna.